Hi, I'm Doug the Bee Guy, and welcome back to the Double Nucleus Colony series. This is day four. We're going to open this Double Nucleus Colony up. And if you remember, um, one side, we installed packages in both sides. But one side, I had taken the box out of and put some food cans in the other side. I hadn't taken the box out yet. And it's been four days. I should have come back after one day and taken this box out. Um, but it's just been really bad. The weather's been really bad and I just didn't want to bother them. And this particular one, I'm just gonna shake those guys off. This particular, um, nuke there was some honey in these frames from last year so i didn't worry so much about getting back here and getting them some syrup or a feeder um so that was the reason but when you upside down the package like that within about an hour the bees will go down onto your drawn comb immediately and start cleaning it working on it smelling it doing all the things that they do. They love it when you can install them on the drawn comb. If you uh, want to check out my beginner beekeeping series, I installed a package on plastic frames with nothing on them. They had a little wax, but they hadn't been built out. And those bees would not go down on there. I literally had to shake them out. So if you can use drawn comb, it makes a huge difference. The other thing is, since it's day four, we can see if the queen has been released. And yes, she has. So you can see here that the queen candy has been released. There's a little bit of paper there, but the hole is empty. So the queen is out. There's a few bees in here. And we can leave that there. It's not gonna hurt anything. But what I am gonna do is, I, you saw the feed cans. I have some extra feed cans from some packages that I installed into my four-way mating nukes, which I'm using different feeders for. And so I'm not gonna waste this syrup. I'm just gonna put it right here and let them eat it and uh, build up some. So that's all I'm gonna do. This other one, I can reach down in here and get their queen cage, but most likely she's been released also if this one had been. Shake off the bees and you can see there was the side with the hole and the queen candy they totally ate every bit of it they cleaned out that whole third of a of a box and there's nothing left and there is a dead bee inside there there's actually two dead bees but neither of them are a queen so we're good they were just attendant bees and that's another reason that you uh, want to put your cage like i said flat or up so that uh And I'll just throw that back in there. And we're going to cover this back up. I don't want to pull the frames out and check them or anything yet because the weather is going to be terrible tomorrow. It's going to be um, 42 with a low of 32. And we might even get a little snow again. Obviously, it won't stick. But this kind of crazy weather, probably the last, uh, last blast of uh, spring winter. And uh, so I'm not going to get into the, into the actual hive and show you. Um, we'll do that in a couple more days. It's only day four. We'll do it before day 10 because what I want to show you is to treat these uh, nucleus colonies um, before day 10. I use oxalic acid and I make sure that before day 10 when they seal the brood that I've treated them so that any mice that come from the suppliers get, uh, get killed. And that's an important step for my uh, for my apiary for my nucleuses. I don't want to uh, I don't want to wait. I don't want mites building up because um, I have my apiary is very clean. And I, when I bring new bees in from other places, I don't want to take a chance that I'm bringing mites into uh, into the other hives. So I am going to treat. Um, if you don't want to treat immediately. You can just test, and I'm going to show that process also. You can test your bees for mites to see what the levels are. 
but I usually just go ahead and give them an oxalic acid treatment anyway because I don't want uh, you know stray mites to start building up and then when I get busy in this in the fall uh, with my other businesses uh, and I, I forget to treat I don't want to have problems so that is uh, all we're going to do for today in this episode and hopefully you're following along we have a lot of stuff coming hopefully you're working on some equipment and getting one of these ready um, you don't have to start these with a package of bees that's just the way i do it to replace the ones that die but i will also be showing you how to start them with extra extra brood from large hives that you may have or the brood factories which we'll talk about something that you're going to create with this we're going to create a three level and that's a brood factory and it just becomes a machine that produces lots of bees and we can use those bees to make nucleus colonies. Um, if you're just starting, you'll probably just have the one or two boxes and you'll need to use bees from one of your other hives, which is fine. It doesn't take very many um, to start one of these. I'll also show you how to start it from bees that come from my four-way mating nukes. If you're looking into making queens, I have a four-way mating nuke series that talks about overwintering queens. And that is a whole nother part of this uh, sustainable apiary process. So until next time, as always, be extraordinary. Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.